Hey guys, welcome to my video. For today's tutorial, I will be teaching you how to make my Twinkling Gems afghan. To begin, all you're going to need is some yarn and a crochet hook. For this tutorial, you will need to know how to make chains, how to make the single crochet stitch, the double crochet stitch, and be familiar with the gem stitch. I have videos on all of those and I will have them listed down below. Starting from the very beginning, making chains, you're going to make an even number of chains. So like I said, you're going to make an even number of chains for the width of your blanket, and I'm going to make 150 chains for my example blanket. So again, you're going to make an even number of chains for how wide you want your blanket, and I made 150 chains for my example blanket. To start row one, make one single crochet into the second chain from your hook. You're now going to make one single crochet into each chain across. So that's one single crochet into the second chain and then one single crochet into each chain across for row one. To start row two, make three chains. Into the first stitch of your row, make one double crochet. We're now going to start our sequence. Skip one stitch, into the next one make two double crochet. Skip one stitch, into the next one make two double crochet. Skip one stitch, into the next one make two double crochet. You're now going to start repeating this sequence. Skip one stitch and into the next one make two double crochet for the rest of your row.
And that's how row two is looking. To start row three, make four chains. We're going to immediately start our sequence, skip two stitches into the space between stitches, make two double crochet. Same thing, skip two stitches into this next space between stitches, make two double crochet. Again, skip two stitches into this space between stitches, make two double crochet. Now you're going to repeat this sequence of skipping two stitches and then making two double crochet in between stitches until you reach the last stitch of your row. When you get to the end of your row, you're going to have one stitch and some chains left. You're going to make one chain to skip over this stitch and then into this chain space, you're going to make a double crochet. That chain and double crochet are going to be the same as our chain four at the beginning of this row. And that's how row three is looking. To start row four, make three chains. Row four is going to be similar to row three. It's going to have the same sequence. It just starts and ends differently. We've made these three chains. These three chains count as a double crochet. So in our sequence, we've been making two double crochet together. So we're going to do that now. You're going to skip your first stitch into this open space made from this previous chain. You're going to make a double crochet. So there's those two double crochet together. Now we are going to continue our sequence. You're going to skip two chains, work two double crochet into the space between stitches until you reach the end of your row.
So when you get to the end of your row, you're going to have this open space left. You're simply going to make two double crochet into that open space to complete this row. And that's how row four is looking. You would now alternate between rows three and four for however long you want your project. I'm going to continue on with my example blanket and I will come back when my blanket is complete. So this is how my blanket turned out. I ended up making 78 rows total. And that is going to be how to make my Twinkling Gems afghan. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe for more from me. You can follow me on all social media at Crochet Me Lovely, all one word. Please leave me any feedback down below for future videos and tutorials that you would like to see. Thank you guys so much for being here and have a great day.